Welcome to our MSCRM addons.com tutorial on how to use conditional logic in Document Scorepack for Dynamics 365. In this video I will show you how easy it is to define dynamic content that is either displayed or removed from the final document based on field values inside Dynamics. The example we will use is one of the most prominent examples. We want to create a code and choose between Mr. and Ms. depending on the gender of the recipient. First, you have to create the basic layout of your template. To do so, simply navigate to the msurm addonscom area and click on the Insert Mail Merge Fields button, which opens the TCP template designer on the right side. More information about how to create TCP templates can be found in the corresponding blog article, How to Create Documents Callback Templates, on our website. We will skip this part and use a pre-configured template, where we can insert our condition. Here you can see the finished template of a quote. You can simply place the cursor at the position you would like to insert the condition field. In this example, we want to set the condition in the subject line, after dear. Then go to Insert Computed Item and select Condition Field, which opens the Condition Field window. First, give your condition a descriptive name. It makes it easy to reuse existing conditions in a template. Next, we can choose whether we just want to create an if block or combine it with an else block. In our example, this makes sense as we will set up to write Mr. in case of a male recipient and Miss for everything else. Below, use the condition designer to create your condition. This might look familiar as it is aligned to the advanced find most Dynamics users are experienced with. In this example, we want to create a condition for the entity primary contact. We want our condition to choose between Mr. and Miss depending on the gender of the recipient. Therefore, select in the first drop-down menu the field gender and as operator equals. Depending on the data type of the field, you either have an additional control that opens a new dialog to select a compare value, in this case male. Because you are creating an else block, you end up with two placeholders within your template, one for the content to be displayed when your condition is met and vice versa. In these placeholders, you can now enter the content of your conditions. If gender equals to male, display Mr. and Miss in the second content control. That's all you have to do. The last step missing before you can use or test your template is to save it. For that, use the Save Template option of TCP Client in order to publish the template to Dynamics 365. Now let's test your condition. Therefore, open Dynamics 365 and select the record you want to create a code for. Next, click on Create Document and select the template you just uploaded, in this case, Gender Example. Open the PDF and see the result of your created template, containing the condition you set. In this case, we expect Mr. because René Valdes is male. As you can see, it works. That's all you have to do. For more details, simply check the documentation and our blog. Have a look at our contact details and do not hesitate to contact us if you require any further information or our assistance. Please also have a look at our website, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and have a look at our YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention.